here and welcome back to my channel so you may not recognize my hair so basically today's video I'm going to be showing you how to pop in this gorgeous um, hair piece this is from Lollabelles that's the one um, and I'm basically going to be showing you how I put this in today I really really love it I think it looks amazing um, so if you want to see it then carry on watching so to start off with you're going to want to put your hair up um, and I've quickly done it but I want it to be more like more of a slicked back pony I'm going to do it again and use the brush to like brush all the hair in and then I'm going to get some hairspray and hairspray all around my head we don't want the ponytail to sit on the crown of our head we want it to sit a bit lower because the actual hair piece goes a bit over. I'm going to secure it with a bubble or whatever you call it, elastic band, hair tie, whatever. Then once you've secured it I'm just going to spray it a bit more hairspray and slick my hair back. I've got some lip balm on so we're going to do that now. Also, excuse me, I got ready somewhere else um, yesterday, so my makeup is currently there, so I've had to use all the makeup that I don't use on a daily basis. So, this is the look we're going for. You're going to want to just somehow put your hair in a bun. This part doesn't really matter, just however you fancy. So, I'm just twirling mine round and I'm taking another bubble and securing the bun. Just like so. Mine goes up really easy because my hair is really thin. So, now it's time for the actual hair piece. I've, I love having my hair off my face, but when I go out, my hair is quite thin, so it doesn't really look that exciting when I wear it up off my face. Um, I feel like a ballerina right now. So I ordered this ponytail piece. This um, exact one is the no, it's an 18 inch bouncy luxe ponytail, and I got the colour light blonde. So as you can see, this doesn't match my roots, but it matches this colour, and I like kind of like how the blonde ponytail looks anyways so that's what I went for it comes with a little um thing that you just want to undo this part can be really fiddly I still don't think this is how you put it in right but we're going to do it anyways so it's got four clips on the inside and I believe you just start off by clipping the top one into the top of your bun you do the same with the sides Them little clips, find them, there we are, and push them into your hair. And there's one on the underneath as well. And then you get that little get the little zip tie and you literally pull it as tight as you can. Like literally pull it. So that nearly gives, you can feel that it's tightly into the ponytail. So then to cover this, you can just wrap it round the ponytail. So this is my little handy box of bobby pins. And I'm just going to secure it with one of them. So that's the ponytail securely onto my head. Um, the only thing I would say is it really is not as bouncy as what it looks on the website. Um, I'm going to brush it through. It is really easy to brush. As you can tell, there is not any curls in this. So I'm going to have a quick read on the website and fingers crossed um, it is heat resistant because we're going to put some curls in. So it is actually heat resistant up to 180 degrees. So I've got my um, new me curling wand. This is the three in one um, attached like barrel thing. So I've got three different heads. This is the middle sized one. So I'm going to use this and put a few curls in my hair piece. But I'm going to use a mirror. So I'm going to turn just a little bit so I can use my big mirror here in front of us. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take. 
but we're gonna try it. By the way, heating up, I'll talk about the hair pieces. So this is actually a choker, and I think this would look really cool. I'm gonna put that between my legs, and know that's risky. Um, so imagine this. Wrong way. Imagine this as a cute little bubble. I think it would look really nice. So I'm gonna try putting that in afterwards. I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the bigger barrel. That didn't work. It's about burning though. Right, we're just gonna We're gonna try a little piece first. I don't want little ringlets so I want big waves. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. It's right, I would only hold my hair pieces for ten seconds, so Look, that side looks curly, it's just the underneath part, right? We're just gonna um do it like this and I'm gonna vlog today so I'm gonna take it off my head and probably curl the whole thing. So this is how it turned out. I'm absolutely in love with it. Right, so you can't really see this but I put it in anyways because my head's like that. So we're just gonna not go with that, but imagine this on a night out. Pretty can you see? Don't know if you can see on the camera, but yeah, this is what it looks like, and I just love it. So because you can see the like sparkly choker in my hair, I decided to put it on, but just for the intro and outro because I tell you what, I freaking hate chokers. I literally feel like I'm being strangled right now. I can't deal with things around my neck. Like, I can't wear two neck tops or anything. I hate them. But we're going to do it for the video because I think it looks cute. So that is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know if you like the hair piece. I really, really like it. Literally, if you've got thin hair, this just adds so much volume. It makes it look like you've got like, really long, lovely hair. Um, and that, it does feel really nice. It's just the curls I'm a bit disappointed in. But I'm going to let them know. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!